welcome back to my channel so in my 2023 roundup i said that i would film a video um talking about my yarn company now i launched pixie spins yarn about a month ago so it hasn't been a long time i don't really have that many products i basically just have um some hand blended yarns as well as two kits two crochet kits i am currently learning how to spin um, I have made a few hanks of yarn, but I'm not at the level where I feel like I can sell it yet, so I'm still practicing and still learning, but my hand-blended yarns are for sale, so I'm just going to be showing you what I currently have, as well as answering some questions that you had for me about Pixie Spins yarn, so yeah, let's get into it. So I don't have all of the yarns currently caked up because I'm waiting for a lot of the supplies to be restocked but I do have all of the swatches so for the yarns that I don't have caked up I will just show you the swatches so I will start with the first yarn that I ever made which is Sprite Surprise this one obviously as you can tell it is a very small cake so you can't really tell that well what it looks like so this is the sample this is what it looks like crocheted up so the base is basically a cotton yarn with some mohair and the pom-pom here and then the ladder and this is what it creates i just think it's such a cute little yarn this is also one of the yarns available in the Kitty Tail um, kit. So I do have the hat here. So this is the Kitty Tail hat with the Sprite Surprise yarn. And then at the end, there is a yarn that matches Sprite Surprise. It's basically mohair with some pom pom. So yeah, this is what it will look like if you get the kit so that is sprite surprise so the second one that i made and probably one of my most popular ones is this one now this is called purple haze this is what purple haze looks like all crocheted up there are quite a few different fibers in here there's some cotton pom-pom mohair ladder glitter yeah this one is a lot but like i said it's one of my most popular ones and I do have some limited edition ones and the reason they are limited edition is because maybe I can't source one of the fibers anymore so for example this one it's not very neatly caked so I apologize let me re unwind it so you can see what it looks like this one is called melon soda and the reason this one is limited edition is because I bought this green one in Tokyo and obviously I couldn't buy that many skeins so yeah this one is limited edition this is absolutely gorgeous I really love her this is what it looks like crocheted up total fairy garden vibes And I also have one quite similar in pink. This one I think I only have two cakes left so it's almost sold out. Again this is the same fiber as the green one here. Again picked up in Tokyo. So cute. Little strawberry milkshake. I love her. These two would look so cute matched together in a sweater that's what i originally bought them for just these ones i was going to make a striped sweater but i decided to give them a different purpose instead so that is those two one that i recently made is sunshine so if you order um from pixie spins yarn this is what it will come like it will come all neatly caked up and you will have the label here that has the name the grams all of the materials and then here it will have the recommended hook size and then the washing instructions so yeah this is sunshine this is what she looks like i adore this one i think it is so cute 
and this is the sample this is what it looks like up close very gorgeous pastel colors i really love this one it's so soft as well i know it might not look like it would be soft because it looks itchy but for me personally like i don't have any issues with textures so if you do have issues with textures then obviously this wouldn't be the best one for you but personally i don't and it's just really soft and so yeah this is sunshine next one is a another one from a pixie kit now this cake is a bit bigger i usually do my cakes in either 60 or 50 grams this is i want to say 70 grams so it's a bit bigger so this is a bubblegum dream it is just a cute mix of blue and yellow fibers with some glitter and some pom-pom so this is one of the options you can get with the kitty tail bonnet and this is what it looks like crocheted up very bubblegum vibes hence the name that's what it looks like so that is bubblegum dream this is sherbet surprise and this is the yarn that you will get if you buy the collar kit it is just these pastel shades with some glitter some eyelash and ladder and this is what it looks like crocheted up and again i obviously just have crochet samples but you can use these for knitting i have used them for knitting and they turned out just as cute so this is the sample of sherbet surprise i really love this one again it is one of most my most popular yarns and yeah it's really soft it would, would make such a cute little sweater so maybe i will try and make a sweater with this but yeah that's sherbet surprise one of my more advanced yarns in the sense it's not really beginner friendly but i think she's my ultimate favorite look at this look at these pastel tones this is pastel princess the main fiber is this loop yarn that you see here and yeah i think it just makes such a cute yarn this is what it looks like crocheted up absolute pastel dream and again this is one of my more difficult yarns to use i will show you in a little bit an example of me crocheting with one of the yarns just to show you how you can use it because i know i have a lot of questions about that but yeah this is pastel princess absolutely love this one another one in the same kind of realm is cotton candy and it also has the loop yarn just a white one and this is what it looks like the base is this pink so this is made up of four different fibers i think again very cute this is the example of it crocheted up so yeah again another one of my more difficult yarns to use but it is totally worth it in my opinion just think about anything made with this i'm not even getting an example of what you can make with this because anything made with this would just be gorgeous now a few that i don't have cakes for this is secret garden again one of the first ones that i made and one of my favorites just it gives total fairy garden vibes i'm going to be making a top with this like a fairy inspired top so i'll probably film a youtube video for that but this is what she looks like the base is a cashmere wool and then you have eyelash yarn flag yarn and glitter so this is secret garden and then i have one similar to purple haze this is pink clouds and this the base for this one is this cotton if you can see it is made up of different color cottons and then you have the ladder yarn mohair one more cotton and glitter 
So this is pink clouds. And then we have wings. This one gives me kind of like royal, royal vibes because it has this lace in it. This is what wings looks like. Very glittery, sparkly. Cute, cute little number. Yeah, this is wings. Ocean's blue. Obviously, this reminded me of Oceans, hence the name. You have the blue loop yarn, some mohair and glitter. This one is quite thick, so it would make a really nice bag because it would be sturdy. This is what this one looks like. I really love this one. And then we have Rose Garden. So this one actually uses ribbon. Like this is just like packing ribbon or what you put on like uh, presents when you pack them and stuff. I just thought it would be really cute in a yarn. So that's what I did with Rose Garden. I think it's really cute with the splashes of green in there this is what it looks like crocheted up so you can see the ribbon kind of adds a completely new like texture to it yeah i just think this one is i'm gonna <laughs> i say that about everything and this is cute this is cute of course it's cute that's why i made it this one is orange sprinkles it is a blend of orange and blue fibers and the flag yarn has a bit of green in it this is what orange sprinkles looks like and this is the sample just a quite different color palette i haven't really seen many yarns that have this kind of color palette but i just thought it was really bright and different so yeah this is orange sprinkles and i also have wisteria this again i love this color palette the blue and the purple just goes so well together it is so gorgeous in my opinion and then again you have this lace and some sparkles so this is wisteria and this is also another limited edition one. This is Blue Lemonade. Again, this uses ribbon. It's a little bit thicker than the other one that I used in Rose Garden. But I have quite a few um, cakes of this, maybe like seven, I want to say. So there is enough to make something if you want to order this. Yeah, Blue Lemonade. I think that was my last one. But I just want to show you um the yarns that i have hand spun so what i'm kind of going for with my hand spun yarns is art yarn so kind of like these ones like with the different textures and the different sizes and everything that's what i want to make with the yarn this was actually the first one that i made and i made it into a little heart because i made the tiniest skein ever and I didn't know what to do with it, so I just crocheted it into a little heart. But yeah, this was the first thing I ever spun. And then the second one, I believe, was this one. Now this one isn't plied, it is just single. This is using... I can't remember what the wool I use called. I will put it on screen so you can see. But yeah, I spun it with... A I also can't pronounce this name. I know what it's called, but I don't want to pronounce it because I'm going to sound stupid. But yeah, that is the second yarn I spun. Again, these are only small skeins because I'm still trying to get the hang of it. But that was the second one. The third one was this one. Now, I really love this one. I think the colors are to die for. And I spun it with some glitter. So this is what she looks like. And then I made this. I had a image in my head. And when I was spinning it, it didn't really turn out how I wanted it. So I stopped spinning it, hence why it's so small. But I think it's actually not that bad. Like, it could be a Christmas yarn. I think if I change some of the colours in it, I think it could be something cute. But 
yeah and this was my most recent one this gives me very much very much valentine's day vibes um i used quite a lot quite a lot of different fibers for this i will link everything in the video what i used but yeah that is my most recent spin i'm excited i really like spinning it it's really fun um it takes a long time and it can be a bit frustrating but yeah i'm having a fun time spinning so keep an eye out for my hand spun yarns so i don't actually have any physical pixie kits because i realized i boxed them all up to ship so i can't show you any of my crochet kits but i will show you pictures and i will explain a little bit what's inside them so my first kit is the sherbet sunday pixie collar kit and it is crochet kit it is this color here so this is using the sherbet sunday yarn and inside you will get two crochet hooks the obviously the full pattern you will get the stuffing for the stars you will get the yarn you need for the collar and the stars at the bottom and you will also get some beads basically everything you need except the scissors a darning needle and stitch markers if you need them other than that you will get everything you need and i also have a, another crochet kit which is for my kitty tail bonnet now i currently have this in two different colors i have it in sprite surprise and i also have it in bubblegum dream now this is very similar to the other kit you will get everything you need so the pattern the hooks the yarn the beads the stuffing the yeah that's everything everything you will get in the box and you can just make it yourself basically so yeah that's the two kits i currently have um i will be making more kits in the future if you have any ideas of what you want to see i'm thinking of maybe doing a jumper a sweater um kind of kit or something like that anything you would like to see in kit form let me know um, these patterns aren't available to buy separately at the moment. I'm thinking of just keeping them in my kit only. But if a lot of people request these patterns, I might think about putting them up on Etsy. But for now, you can just get them in the kit. So the first question I had was basically, what is hand blended yarn? So my yarns are made up of fibres that already exist. So maybe yarns that exist or a ribbon, lace, um, glitter, like things like that. Things that already exist and I'm blending them together to make a new yarn. Basically my process of doing this is just coming up with like a colour palette and like an image of what I want the yarn to look like in my head. So a lot of my yarns the names represent what I was thinking when I made it. So Secret Garden, for example, obviously looks very gardeny with the green and the kind of fairy vibes. So that's kind of my first step. And then my second step is sourcing the yarn. Now, this is the hardest part because it takes me absolutely hours to find what I'm looking for basically I have many different like shops and suppliers that I shop from and it's just going through finding like the thickness and the color and the material it's made from um, and also finding something that would be affordable because if I am buying say maybe a fiber that costs ten dollars for 50 grams that is just going to put me completely in the red because then I also have other fibers to spin it with so I just have to find something that's affordable that works that just ticks all the boxes so that is difficult and then I when everything arrives I spin up a little sample and then I crochet with it to see what it looks like and then once I am happy with it then I spin some uh, cakes up and then make the labels blah 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 and then yeah so that's basically how I do it um, it is a fun process but it is a bit stressful um, in the sense of trying to find everything 
and keeping like tabs of everything and stuff like that so yeah that's kind of my process behind my blended yarns and the next question i had was about shipping so shipping is a little bit of a complicated process for me living in south korea since covid the shipping prices completely shut up like it used to be quite affordable but now it is so expensive um so ems like if you want to ship with ems it could be like starting from 25 dollars for like two balls of yarn and obviously that is not ideal so i do offer k packet shipping now what k packet shipping is is it's kind of a slow shipping service which is more affordable it's around like half the price of EMS. Um, you can only have this if you have a company, like a business registration number. So that is what I have. So I signed up for that. So you can order through K-Packet. Um, depending when you are, it could take anywhere from 50, five days to 15 days to deliver. So like I said, it is a slow process. And certain countries, they don't offer tracking and they don't offer any insurance. So that's kind of a risk you have to take. And I do have a disclaimer of that on my website that it's not completely secure like EMS is. But I have sent quite a few packages and they've all arrived. Some of them have arrived maybe in 15 days. So people do get a little bit worried, but they do arrive and I make sure to package them well. I will show you one that is going out um, on Monday. So this is one of my pixie kits. It basically comes in a vinyl bag like this and it's wrapped a lot with sellotape so the bag doesn't rip. Um, I wish I could make it really pretty packaging. Like if you live in Korea and you will receive it in Korea, like it will come in a box, like a pretty little box. I wish I could do that with my international orders, but my main priority is making sure it gets there safely. And also, so it's affordable. So like I said, it's quite expensive and it also goes off size as well. So I have to try and get it as compact as possible to make sure that it is not too expensive. Um, so unfortunately, a lot of that pretty packaging kind of goes out the window. But inside is pretty, I promise. It is pretty packaged inside. The outside may not look too nice. But yeah, you can either order through EMS or k Packet if you would like something a bit more affordable. Another question I had was where I source all of my fibres and everything like that. Um, most of my stuff comes from companies within Korea. There's also a lot of yarn companies that sell on AliExpress. Um, yeah, if this is something you want to do yourself, um, just you just got to search really. You just got to try and find a place that sells different kinds of fibers and yarns. And of course, this is something you could do if you wanted to do it yourself. There's nothing stopping you from buying different fibers and spinning up your own yarns. But I know a lot of people don't want to do this because it is very time consuming and it can get very expensive if you don't know where to shop from or um, if you're buying in bulk. So that's why a lot of people just like to purchase them from me. And also I feel like I have a pretty good grasp of colour theory and matching different fibres together. I personally think my yarns are special, that's why I sell them. And I know quite a lot of people do too, but obviously there's nothing stopping you from doing it yourself. It is like crochet and knitting. You can buy it from a shop or you can do it yourself. So yeah, this is just for people who are interested in getting some new yarn for any kind of project. So I think that is everything. Just a short and sweet video today about Pixie Spins. I will leave the link to the website below. I also have a smart store for people shopping in Korea. It doesn't have all of the products yet because it takes a long time to list products on there. But you can also DM me on Instagram um, if you would like to just purchase directly from me. And also follow me on my Instagram where I will be giving updates on what I'm working on as well as giveaways. I recently did a giveaway where I gave away 
um, a pixie collar as well as some yarns so if you would like to maybe follow my instagram and keep a lookout for things like that i'm always coming up with new yarns so you can also follow me there to see when a new yarn drop as well as my hand spun yarns you can find out when i release them so yeah i think that is everything thank you for watching bye